Good morning. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be um, continuing on in my Fisher Price brand research. Everybody loved it so much. The first two videos was just basically showing you a lot of the things that Fisher Price makes. They were large lots. So I took the time to kind of show you the pictures and things that you could be looking for when yard sale season starts again or at thrift stores and estate sales. Um, but today I decided I'm just gonna keep going. A lot of the things I'm showing you today are anywhere from $50 and up. How I do these brand research videos, I go into eBay, all of these are gonna be eBay solds in the last 90 days because that's all we can basically pull up. Terapeak does show up to two years. So a lot of times I use Terapeak just to kind of see the trend of how everything has been going. You know, sometimes it starts here and it goes higher and then sometimes it's the opposite. Um, but I go into eBay, I filter by used and solds because I pick used because those are the most likely the things that we're gonna find out in the wild. Um, and then I sort by highest first. So, you know, I just kind of bumped up to where I had ended on the previous videos and then just kept going. Um, I also use Terapeak to check um, if I see that it's been relisted. Um, but I also go into the seller's feedback, see if they were received positive feedback because that's one way I can assure that it was a legit transaction um, and then I go into their store and see if it's been relisted. Um, a lot, most of these did not get any feedback but I still think it's an opportunity to show you some more of the Fisher Price items that I'm always on the lookout and then I again I found another thing that I have never seen before so it's always good to go in and research anything that you're interested in and that way you can use Terapeak to see all the different things that have been sold and how the prices have been trending. So let's go ahead and get this going. These, the prices, I just kind of left them in order. When you search on eBay highest, it, it includes the shipping. So something that you know, you might see some, one thing that sold for 50 um, or 100 and then the next item will be like 125 because the shipping was more on one of the items. But we're going to start with this. Most of these, I think, are individual things to share with you. But then I did pick a few things that I hadn't mentioned in previous videos. This first thing is a 1977 Sesame Street Ralph puppet. He sold for $50 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. But look how absolutely adorable he is. And here's the tag. Now let me warn you, see this tag right here? If you ever find a plush that has this particular type tag, if you wash it, it's going to fade. So a lot of times when I find something, if I can't hand clean it, um, I just usually list it as is and tell the buyer that, you know, I'm leaving it all cleaning up to them because I, I hate when those tags fade. I just hate it. All right, next item. These, I see these on occasion in the bins, but you could also see these in yard sales. These are the remote control vehicles that went to this large, like eight, crazy eight shaped track. Um, you know, I need to remember to look for these because I see them every once in a while and I don't pick them up and I should. Lesson learned here. These two cars, which it says that they are working, sold for $50. Now, Snap and Lock. This is one of the large lots, but when I go to the bins, just, I think we went to Asheville a couple weeks ago and I found tons of the Snap and Lock dresses. This is what they look like. It's just the front of them and you snap them onto these dolls. Now the ones that I found were for the Minnie Mouse, um, but I always pick up and once you find a few in a bin, you know, you just, there's probably more. Um, but it did have this little storage 
thing. These are what the dolls look like. There's babies and everything. And then these are the accessories. And the feet just kind of slide in. And they're, they're called Snap and Style. I always want to call them Snap and Lock, but they're not. Now this lot sold for $85. No feedback was left. I had not seen these before. Now I've talked about Singamajigs quite often, but I guess there is a Mickey and Minnie set that came out. Now there were some really high comps, but they were new in the box. Um, these two, Mickey and Minnie, sold for $65 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. But if you don't, if you're not familiar with Sema jigs, when you squeeze their bellies, their mouth um, does like sing songs, but it's like by syllables almost, you know, or by single words. So you have to keep squeezing them. They're very adorable, but they're kind of creepy too. Now this. I'm pretty sure I talked about some of the Imaginex sets in previous videos, but I wanted to show these because these are the Toy Story Green Army Men. Let me take that off. The Green Army Men, and I guess they came with these accessories here. This small set here of just the Imaginex for Toy Story sold for $80 um, best offer. Positive feedback was left, so it was legit. And I saw other like small lots for like the Teen Titans series. So anytime you find Imaginex, I use Google Lens to try to figure out um, what sets they go to. I just yesterday processed about 80 different um, Imaginex figures. I made them into small lots. Usually I'm like $12.95, $14.95 um, for most of my small sets. Um, but look, this is something to definitely keep your eyes out for. These, aren't these absolutely adorable? I have found one cup one time in all of my years of doing this. Um, these are by Anchor Hawking. They are little people. Um, these two are in excellent condition. They sold for the $100. Um, no feedback was left, but isn't that adorable? All right, another larger toy. This is the Fisher Price Pick Up and Go Dump Truck. It is one of the ones to help um, children learn to walk. It did come with these blocks that you see here, like shape sorter, shape sorter blocks. This one did have the instructions. This sold for $85. So definitely keep your eyes out for it. I am pretty sure that this handle comes off so it would at least be able to make it a little bit smaller, but it is going to be a large box. Fisher Price Magic Show. This did have the box with it. There were others that had sold that didn't have the box for quite a bit less. So a lot of times, yes, if you have the original box, it does go for quite a bit more. This magic set did sell for $99.99. No feedback was left, but I use these type videos and this research to familiarize myself with some of the pieces and parts. So, you know, if I was to ever find this little magic wand, I would know that it's Fisher Price. It's probably marked. A lot of them are, but just very amazing that somebody found this set from the 80s still in the box. Trios. Trios is a building block set. It didn't last very long, a couple of years maybe. So anytime I find them, I go ahead and pick up any and all parts and then I make small lots of them as I find them. It's another one of those things where I'll make a lot, list it, and then as I find more, I'll throw it in. They had like Batman series that, you know, these. This is a large lot, but this is what the blocks looked like. Here's the vehicle toppers. I think the base came off. My boys liked these when they were younger. I'm um, right here. I'm not sure if it's, I'm going to get a better picture. I tried not to use my little red marker on here so I could show you guys pictures. These are the little chunky figures. I'm hoping you'll be able to see them. Um, if not, I'll try to see if Robert can find this listing and show it. But they're just connecting blocks. Um, but they do very well for me. 
this trio set sold for $149.99. Fisher Price Talk to Me Player and Six Books. Now I do have one of the books up there that Shannon sent me. It was yeah, the Ghost Chasers Mickey Mouse book. This right here is what the uh, player looks like. I have found it a couple of times. There are these little records, like a little miniature record on each of the pages, and you'd lay the the player on top of it, and it reads the story to, to the child. This set sold for $117.25. Again, it's got the um, original box, so more than likely that's why... Um, oh, here, I can show you a better picture. Hopefully... You know, you guys will be able to see this. I know the last time I tried to do a not picture in picture, you know, I had people say and they preferred that I do picture in picture. So that's what I'm doing. But here's other things. But yeah. And anytime I list something that has a battery compartment, I always include a picture inside of it. That way you can prove that there was no corrosion. You're not going to get, you know, um, an INAD and get the wrong one back. So just, just best practice. Take pictures of inside your um, battery compartments. Let's see. Oh yeah, one seventeen twenty five. Forgot. All right. Now this is another one of the doll houses. They have tons of doll houses. Fisher Price does. They've got the Loving Family, the Dream. There's some older ones from like the seventies. This one was called the My First Doll House. Again, it didn't last very long, but I did want to show you guys what some of the figures looked like. Anytime I find them, I pick them up and I usually sell any of this by the piece so that somebody who has the dollhouse can, you know, again, uh, add to the set that they already have. Um, but yeah, if you see this man's face, they are terrible for having paint loss on them. But these are just some of the furniture pieces. I mean, this was it. There were hardly any sets to it. But this dollhouse sold for $99.95. I've never seen this, but now it's on my radar. This is called the Servin Surprise Fun Food Magic Set. It came with this chair. I'm going to go through the pieces here. This bottle, I'm thinking, is magic. Maybe when you tipped it, it did something. These spoon, the spoon that you're seeing there, um, I'm sure when you s did something with it, the inside of it twisted. Did have this, um, the high chair. They're showing the condition. Always take pictures. Now that we've got 24, there's no reason not to show all condition issues. Oh, I think when you put the spoon in each one of these, it probably changed to the food that you're seeing. But definitely be looking at least for the pieces and parts. This sold for $111.99 and the buyer did leave positive feedback. There was an another one of these that sold for, I want to say like $99, but it had the original box. So I opted to choose this one um it's the next one down that wasn't new in the box just to show you the pieces and parts i have had the the mailbox before and maybe a couple of these um stamps but there's these postcards um and then all the pieces and parts um just a very cute set it was from the 80s the number fisher price almost always has a number on it like this is 2020 um, you can go just on Google and type in Fisher Price 2020 it's gonna help you find the actual name of the set um, but just a very cute little set and it all stored inside like I said I've never had the complete one but this was interesting it sold for $55 all right geo tracks got a little bit this Anytime I find geo tracks, I usually sell the remote control and the train individually. I don't do lots. This one is specific. It was a Christmas one that went to um, Christmas in Toy Town from 2006. 
probably the highest dollar one of the remote controls. It sold for $107.96. But just very cute. Let me, I keep trying to show you guys close ups, and then I realize you guys aren't going to be able to see it. So I'm trying to remember to do it this way. Here's the remote control. Again, I would have taken pictures. Um, now eBay allows you just to um, upload video. So I would have taken a picture, a, a video of this and um, just put it in there so that they can see that it's working. But very cute. Definitely watch for the remote controls. And Pixar Cars also has a whole series of the Geo Tracks. also. Some of them do quite well also. Now this is another product that Fisher-Price put out. I want to say they're 70s, 80s, but I don't remember. I didn't have these. Um, but they're called Fisher-Price Smushies, and this is how they spelt it. Um, but they were just these little, teeny tiny plush, little, that were very squishable. Almost always they had something that they squished down into. I think Hallmark has a series of these also um, in conjunction with Fisher-Price. But I picked this one. This one sold for quite a bit because it has this thing, whatever it is. But this is what the smushies look like. Um, and like right here, you can see, I know you guys probably aren't going to be able to see it. But right here is just one of the things that something would have probably that fish smushed down into. This set sold for $90. Best offer. No feedback was left. I find them once in a while. Once you've seen them, you know exactly what they look like when you find them, especially like at the Goodwill bins. Now this, I have this, but I cannot find the remote control and I cannot find the ball. Um, but I bought this new for one of my kids, probably Daniel, who just turned 18. That's how long ago all of this is. This is the Fisher-Price Bigfoot Monster. Definitely, if you see this out at a yard sale or an estate sale or a thrift store, pick it up, especially if it has its parts. This little green leaf, the red ball, and then this is the remote control. And right here, I went on Amazon. I looked up the Bigfoot Monster right next to, you know how they line up things that go with it? It supposedly had the charger for it, so I thought while my grandson was here, he wanted to play with this thing. I would order it. It wasn't the right thing, so I'm still on the look for the correct remote or the charger for the battery pack because it has that special one right here. Um, but hopefully I can get it sold. You know, get, get it completed. I've got to find the red ball too. Um, but this particular one sold for $95, best offer. These are the Fisher Price Adventure People. This is from the 1970s. I find them on occasion, but they do really well when you find them. There's definitely a collect collector's group for these. Um, let me show you some of these. I'm hoping you guys can see as much as I can show you of these. All of the figures are just, they're small. They're probably just a couple of, in, like three or four inches maybe. But if you separate their legs, it almost always says Fisher Price, like 1977 on the inside of the legs. That's how you know. Um, but this one had a lot of the vehicles and accessories, which is why it went so high. Let's see what else they've got here. I've had that helicopter a couple of times, but you can see the little figures there. They're just small, skinny figures. Oh, and there is that Lassie dog. So if you ever see that Lassie dog, he's part of the um, Adventure People. This sold for $127.50. No feedback. All right, Woodsy Squirrel. Now, I love these. I've not ever found I think the figures now I have found the the buildings here that you see um I want to say they're from the 70s I'm not quite sure I'm trying to see down here it doesn't really say um 
but look how adorable they are. Just little squirrels. They had a little log house. These are some of the accessories to be watching for. These little chairs, those almost kind of look like the Weeble chairs, don't they? This broom. This was like a folding rollover log house. I'm trying to see what else here. That's what the figures look like. And I have not found it very often. This set sold for $129.95. All right. You know, I know I've seen these and I passed them up. But this is Fisher Price Arts and Crafts child size chairs. These are the red and blue. There were several of these that have sold. These chairs sold for $99.98 and the shipping on Terra Peak showed that it was $44. But also along with that is this table and I'm going to have to rethink some of my large purchases because you can always add FedEx and UPS um, which might be cheaper. This table sold for $189 and the shipping was $75. So if you can find this for like 10 bucks at a yard sale, I would definitely consider um, getting it and then just building uh, a box for it. I'm, I'm thinking maybe the legs are collapsible. Yeah, it looks like you could unscrew them and then just, you know, ship it in just like a picture box from U-Haul. All right, fun with food. I know I talked about some of it in the previous videos, but look at this McDonald's set. I pulled this one up to show you what some of them look like. Now here was the Happy Meal box. Here are the containers. Um, let me go back because here I am thinking you guys are gonna be able to see all of this. Let me go through the pictures here. Look at this little storage thing. I call them bentos. Um, that's just a Hawaii thing, but it was just this little storage container for the, the lettuce and tomatoes and stuff. Here's the pancakes with the little syrup, scrambled eggs. Here's the hamburger, um, like a, what is it? I want to say Big Mac. I don't know. It's not Big Mac, but you know, the double. Here's the chicken nuggets and the French fries. So definitely keep your eyes open for these. This set sold for $138.50. Zoo Talkers. This is part of the Little People series, but um, these animals were, they have a special bottom on them and they interact with the play sets. Let me show you some of the pictures here. This is a large play set. Um, the tree house or the jungle. But uh, on the side where it says little people, you'll also see that it says zoo talkers. There's a large lot of these animals. Now this set sold for $100.99. All right, and then this was called a superstar stage. I know I've probably seen this at, these at yard sales and I never even look at some of the larger play pieces. Um, you know, this would have been a toddler would have stood there or a baby, a baby that's learning to walk, stand there and play music on it. It sold for $109. All right, this record player. I have this record player, but no, I'm not getting rid of my record player. I have a huge collection of rec children's records and this record player. This one was sold for a whole lot more than some of the other comps. But I think the point is don't, you need to check Terra Peak to see, you know, what things are selling for. Don't settle for just the current stuff. Go high and wait. Um, this one seems to be in really, really good condition. Very clean. Um, made in 1978, it says. I'm trying to see, did they say if it had a needle? A lot of times um, the needle does not work or it's missing because you've got kids who are being way too rough with it possibly, but my needle has withstood years of my kids playing with it. Um, so they're tougher than you think, but a lot of times the needle is missing. 
Um, this record player did it sold for the one forty nine ninety nine. But this this surprised me. This sold for four hundred and ninety five dollars. I didn't know anything about this, and this is for kids. This is a Fisher Price PXL two thousand camcorder. But at first I wasn't going to show this, but then I look here on the picture and it says here, the first video camera recorder and playback system designed especially for kids. This, there were others where it was just the camera. Now I can't remember what it sold for. It was like maybe a hundred dollars just for the, the video camera here. As you can see, this one had a little TV, some, all of the cables and everything. And of course the box. I've never heard of this. So it's going to be something that I'm going to be watching for also. And like I said, it sold for $495. Robert was like, no more than 25 items to keep the video kind of short. Because I tend to talk about this stuff a little bit more because Fisher Price is my first love as far as any and all toys. Um, so as you can see, my wall. I've added a few new things on there. Let me see if you guys can see it. Probably not. What did I add up there recently? I don't know. Oh, the clown. I don't think you guys can see it, but it's up there almost to the top where the ball is. Right here. The clown. I found that in the bag of the, the huge lot that I bought from Kim. So, of course, it had to make it to my wall because it is Fisher Price also. All right. It's time for breakfast. It's early. I haven't even done my packages. I wanted to get this done first. Have some fun before I go do my packages. But yeah, yesterday was my largest selling day the entire year. So, yay. But we got to start making our goals for next year, right? Got to make, make our goals. Get ready for next fourth quarter. All right. Bye.